Hi guys, happy Friday. We've got a great workout for you today with a little bit of everything. We're gonna start with 40 seconds on, 20 second transition. I want you to start with step ups. At the halfway point, I want you to switch to box jumps. Um, for those of you at home, what I want you to do are mountain climbers. So for that, you're just gonna set up in a plank position and then just bring the knees up to the chest like so. So you're gonna keep the foot elevated off the ground as you bring it towards your chest and then come back and switch sides. And just try to keep a steady pace for the whole 40 seconds. Next we're gonna do is alternating forward lunges. At the halfway point, I want you to switch to reverse. So for the lunges, guys, we're gonna start nice and tall. Have the feet uh, about uh, hip width. We're gonna step out, back knee's gonna kiss the ground, front knee stays stacked over the ankle. You'll push off that front leg and come back to standing and then we'll switch sides and repeat. For the reverse lunge, the same idea, you're stepping backwards. Make sure that when you step either forward or backwards for your lunges, you don't get tight ropes. So keep that spacing between the feet when you perform your lunges. Next we're gonna do is sit up so you can just grab your ab mat and butterfly the feet. Sit up nice and tall to start. Go back, touch the shoulders. Come up, touch in front of the toes. Use those arms as leverage to help pull yourself up. Next we're gonna do is some curtsy lunges. And at the halfway point, we'll switch to uh, Cossack or side lunges. So on the curtsy lunge, I'm gonna get set up. I'm gonna bring this leg back behind my other one. And I'm kind of aiming for my knee to be just behind my forward foot, maybe even slightly over to the side. After that, I'll push through that front leg, return to standing, and then I'll switch to the other side. For our side lunges, what you're gonna do is start on one side, you're gonna go out. What you can do is actually go all the way down. You can bring those toes up, come back to center, and then switch to the other side. Next, we're gonna do is a side plank. So if you're inside uh, the gym and have mats or a seam, what I want you to do is get set up uh, the ankles on one part of the seam and then the hand on the other. And when we get set up, we can hold here. If you need to modify, bring that top leg down. At the halfway point, you'll just switch over to your other side. Next we're gonna do is a squat alternating get up. So I'm gonna go down into my squat position. From here, I'm going down to the knees. I'm gonna come back up into a squat. I'll then switch legs. Okay, so this is my get up. So I'm getting up into my squat and then going back down into a half kneeling position. At the very end is when you'll stand all the way up. And then lastly, we're gonna have a barbell with some light plates on each side. And we're gonna work on the penlay row. Penlay row is a little different than the bent over row. The bent over row, the bar stays, or the plates stay elevated off of the ground. And the penlay row, you're gonna be even deeper so that the plates are always gonna to be touching the ground on each rep. And you're gonna be aiming for just above the belly button. Okay, so kind of mid sternum level. Um, have your hands out a little bit wider for this, and you're just going to stay in that hinge position and perform bent over rows that way. Uh, we'll take about three to five minutes to test out some things. Get to our working weight for our pin lay rows, test out our box for our box jump height or step up height, and then lastly, test out our kettlebell weight or dumbbell for our lunges. So, for today's workout, 30 seconds of work, 30 second transition, six rounds, there's five movements, so 30 minutes all together. You're gonna start with box jumps or step ups or broad jumps if you're at home. Next, we're gonna go into our strength with some pin lay rows. If you're at home, double dumbbell or kettlebell bent over rows. As always, feel free to mix up your grip. Third, we're gonna go into our alternating lunges. Fourth will be some plank taps to our weight. And then fifth will be some weighted sit-ups. If you're at the gym, I recommend a plate. If you're at home, you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell for your weighted sit-ups or just go unweighted, that's fine too. So a couple of things here on the lunges. There's gonna be a different variation of lunge each round. So in the first one, we're going to thread the needle with the weight as we reverse lunge. So ideally this is a little bit easier with a kettlebell because of the handle, uh, the way it's shaped. So what you're gonna do is get set, you're gonna reverse lunge, transition over to the other side, return to standing, reverse lunge on the other side, and then thread the needle through the legs. On the next one, we're gonna do a diagonal front rack hold. So the front rack just means that I'm holding either my dumbbell or kettlebell in this position, and then at a diagonal, what I'm gonna do is if I'm looking at a clock, 
on the ground, I'm going out to about 130. So in between that one and two, I'm gonna tap the back knee, come back to standing, and I'll do it on the other side around uh, between 10 and 11 o'clock, okay? On our next one, we're gonna go curtsy lunge, which we did in the beginning in our warm up. Fourth round, we're gonna go to those alternating side lunges. And then the fifth one is gonna be that squat to get up. This is a really challenging movement. Uh, don't uh, worry if you can't use any weight. Um, just drop the weight if it's going to impact the quality of your movement. And then the last one is your choice. So any of those lunges, or if there's a different lunge variation that you'd like to do, go ahead and do that for the last round. On the plank taps, what we're gonna do is just have your weight set up, get into your nice front plank, and then alternate taps. And what you wanna try and do is not have the hips swing side to side, but rather stay in a nice stable front plank. So widen up the feet if you need to. Um, in terms of the sit-ups, like I said, plate works best, but if you just have a dumbbell or kettlebell, use that, or if it's too heavy, just go and weighted. Uh, and then lastly, for mobility work, I would just suggest foam rolling, uh, the lats, the glutes, hamstrings, calves, and some snow angels to finish off. So guys, I hope you have fun, get in a lot of good work today. As always, move well, good luck.